So you can have direct discrimination where you treat an employee less favorably because of their protected characteristic. Um, there's also a form of discrimination called indirect discrimination. Now that's different to direct discrimination. It's where a pool of employees are affected by a provision criterion or practice that's put in place by the employer. Um, so the most common example of that who would be disadvantaged within that pool of employees are females in the workplace. So for example, females often need to work part-time because they have um, historically more childcare responsibilities. Um, the provision criterion or practice that could put, could put females at a disadvantage is the requirement to work full-time in a role. So that is known as indirect discrimination because it indirectly affects a group or a pool of people in the workplace. The only way that the employer can defend that complaint of indirect discrimination is if that role, that full-time role, can be objectively justified as a proportionate means of achieving a legitimate aim. Otherwise, it will be indirect discrimination.